We took our crumbling loft room from this to this to this. And now it's time to tell you exactly how much all this renovation work cost. And as you can imagine, it wasn't cheap. I've already spilled the full cost of our ensuite bathroom in detail. So feel free to scroll back and watch that. But now let's get into the money. Because transparency isn't about showing off, it's about sharing knowledge and the reality of how much this sort of work actually costs if you're planning your own project. I logged every single expense throughout the renovation process, so I've got it down to the very last penny, starting with the major building work. So we had to pay £764 for a building control application and £1,800 for structural engineer calculations before we could even begin. Then we got scaffolding erected for £4,320, as well as a few much needed skips for waste and permits to have them on the road, which which cost £1,300. Our builders could then whip the old roof off and crack on with building us a new one with a much bigger dormer on the back, which cost us £10,720 in labour, £6,911 in materials such as insulation, floorboards, timber, plasterboard, wire, fixings, and £1,740 for the steel beams. All the building labour and materials included creating our new internal walls, floors, putting in new electrics and plumbing, along with all the structural work that got us to usable rooms again. We also paid £900 £8,040 for a separate roofing company to handle all the brand new roof covering and £480 for a new window in our ensuite bathroom. Our roof windows on the front of the house were kindly gifted so we saved on that expense. Plastering of the whole bedroom space, the stairs up to the room, the ensuite and cupboard cost £1,600 and we DIY'd all the fireplace restoration work ourselves, apart from paying a pro £500 to repoint the bricks. Mist coating cost me £52 for the materials, while the rest of our paint wallpaper and a lot of the woodwork was gifted, along with our plug sockets and switches. I've worked so hard on these accounts for years and years, so sometimes it is nice to get something in exchange for all the graft. The mega fireplace tiling project was such a DIY struggle, but only cost us £177.96 in materials. Then onto carpet, yes, the one we ruined just days after it was fitted, came in at £1,158 and the radiator that caused the crime was £179.94. All the final furnishing, the bed, bedding, chair, lights, artwork, etc. came in at £1,064. And the total for all the ensuite materials, tanking, tiling, doors, mastic and the actual suite was £4,456.95. Add in boring things like fire alarms, radiator valves, door frames, our eaves doors and lots of other teeny tiny details and the grand total is £48,531.60. A huge amount of money but it would have been at least double if we hadn't DIY'd so much and worked with such great professionals. This isn't to say that every roof project will cost this much but I hope this gives a helpful idea of the ballpark costs involved in a mega transformation like this. So what do you think? Good value? 